What's up my peeps, Joshua Smith here, coming at you with a leveling up live. Um, I wanted to uh, do this leveling up here in front of GSD Studios in one of my Revisto offices for my real estate team, um, which is a combined uh, location. So I figured I'd uh, do this leveling up here uh, live with my little selfie stick, so that way you can get a little sneak peek of the office as I am uh, doing today's leveling up. So um, if you're not watching us you on YouTube, check this out. So that way you can kind of get a little sneak peek. So this here is the Revisto side. I'll get into leveling up here in a second. Um, this here is one of our conference rooms. See if you can see that there, boom. Big old 72 inch badass boy on the, the uh, Wall there, um, huge ass whiteboard there. You can't you can't have a conference room without a whiteboard, man. I, I go into uh, some of these damn um, um, offices, dude. I walk in the conference room and they don't have whiteboards. I'm like, how, how do you how do you host team meetings or, or any kind of a company meeting without a freaking whiteboard? I mean, what the fuck is this world coming to, right? So um, down here, just more printers, shit like that, standard office stuff. Back in here, a little kitchen area, restroom area. I'm gonna take you over to GSD Studio so you guys can check that out too. So um, here on Leveling Ups, um, you guys real quick, make sure to go to gsdmode.com. We've recently added a bunch of cool free stuff. So um, I've got all my free webinars up there. We've got uh, five ways to get into REO, my mega open house webinar, Facebook webinars, um, plus 41 weeks of free coaching tips uh, with me that you can sign up for. So. Um, this space here, when we got this space, this was actually two separate retail spaces that we were able to combine into one. So able to open up this wall, install these uh, um, wood doors here, and then this takes you into GSD Studios. So inside here, got my big ass uh, GSD mode, six foot uh, sign on the wall there, another conference room table where we mastermind here. Um, another huge ass whiteboard there. Um, as you're walking down here, you'll see, you know, I, I just like motivational stuff, man. You know, right? Like I like things that uh, always pump me up. So on the walls here, constant motivational stuff. Um, standard offices, some of these offices, right? This is where my podcast manager hangs out um, inside here. Uh, in this room here, um, this is where we film a lot of our stuff. See if you can see that. Got all of our equipment in here. Um, but this is, uh, you know, we've somewhat kind of soundproofed the room, all of our video shooting equipment. So this is kind of organized right now, all put up. We're not shooting right now. Um, this right in here is where I do all my podcasts, webinars, all of that stuff. So you can kind of get an idea of like, you guys don't see this stuff. This is what's on the wall of my computer, above my computer that just, again, motivates me. I got one of my uh, uh, inspirations up there, Eminem. Um, again, just filled with stuff that, you know, just motivates the hell out of me that I love seeing. Um, more offices, shit like that in the back. So anyway, let's get into uh, today's leveling up episode. So what I want to talk to you guys about today, two things. Number one, who you roll with matters. Uh, you've heard... Jim Rohn's famous quote of the five people you spend most time with inside your life, um, you're the average of the five people you spend most time with, right? So I want to talk to you about that and I want to talk to you about self-development, how most people um, use self-development really is just entertainment, how they don't really use it as self-development. So um, one thing, uh, uh, again, going into the five people that you roll with, who you roll with matters. Look, dude, if you want to become a fucking eagle, if you want to go out there and soar with the eagles, you can't soar with eagles if you're hanging out with the damn chickens, right? So now when, when we talk about things like this, you know, you hear a lot of successful people out there, YouTubers, you know, whatever, that have their channels, their podcasts, put out content out there like this. And, you know, and, and sometimes it can make you think of like, oh, dude, I got to cut out everybody that's inside my life um, that... Um, um, isn't massively leveling up. No, dude, like I have people that are important to me in my life, family members, friends that I grew up with, whatever, that uh, you know aren't necessarily leveling up at the level that I am inside my life. I'm not gonna cut them out, they're still important to me, but I'm gonna make sure that the people that I'm spending the majority of my time with, surrounding with, you know, right? My key employees inside my organization that I'm rolling with throughout the day. Uh, um, the people that in my personal life I'm spending most of the time with um, are absolutely leveling up. They don't have to be at the same you know, level I am. 
Um, but I just want to make sure that they level one up. Dude, I don't give a fuck if your worth, your net worth is a hundred million or one penny. As long as you're out there trying to level up inside your life, trying to create success and abundance in your life, dude, you're just somebody I want to roll with, right? When we have conversations, I don't want to talk about the fucking game. I don't want to have gossip conversations. I don't want to have small talk. I want to talk about expansion and growth at whatever level that may be, right? Um, so make sure that you have those people in your life. Like I like to have some people that are below me, you know, right, on a successful level. I mean, I, I don't mean that in like a you know, egotistical way, you know, but may, maybe some people that are leveling up that are at a lower level when it comes to financial success or, or success in, in one way, form or fashion than I am, right? Because then it allows me to impact them and give into them. When I look at relationships, I want, I want to have relationships that impact me, um, but also I want to have relationships where I have the ability to impact others. So I'm always asking myself, man, out of this relationship, man, is this having a positive impact on me um, and or am I able to have a positive impact on this person? So me having a positive impact doesn't mean I just get to talk to this person and share strategies with this person. That means that they're implementing, they're taking action, they're hungry, you know, right? Um, uh, then I want to have, of course, people that are above me, you know, maybe some that are the same level and then some that are above me that I'm reaching up for to help me go out there and expand and grow inside my life. So those are, those are just key things that are very, very important that I'm always looking for and uh, making sure that the vast majority of them, um, you know, kind of fall under that criteria that I'm hanging out with in my life for the majority of the time. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not here to cut out great friends and family members that uh, may not be leveling up that, that choose to accept the life of mediocrity. That's okay, you know, right, to an extent. Um, so then from there, right, so, so make sure that you do that and you're, you're intentional about that because it's absolutely critical. Then, sorry, I had to plop my ass down on the couch here. <laughs> um, so then from there, um, this is one thing that my peak performance coach uh, really just pounded in my head over the last year and uh, has had a massive impact on me. You cannot, inside your world, dude, you cannot have more people that need you than that feeds you in your life. So this doesn't mean like they're actually feeding me physical fucking food, right? What I mean by this or what this means is your energy levels. I need to have more people that feed me, meaning inspire me, um, than that need my energy, that drain my energy. And this, this correlates to friends, this correlates to your staff members, to teammates, everybody inside your life. You need more people that that feed you or that 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 feed you then that need you you know right like i already have relationships in my life that need me like there's certain things like my wife needs me my kids need me outside of that man i mean i i you know i have no beef with people needing shit from me but they better feed me if anybody needs something from me man they better feed me they better inspire me and i'm being very very cognizant about having more people that feed me than need me inside my life and this is something that i reflect on and think about every single day and uh, i have eliminated you know, those people that, uh, dude, are just fucking energy vampires that are just time sucks. And, and not just time sucks, but just, dude, they just, they just, they don't allow you to show up as your most energetic, best version of yourself. So be very intentional about that. The second part that I want to talk to you guys about today is um, self-development, right? So you've heard me on the podcast before probably talking about mental masturbation. Right, so mental masturbation, and I, I don't like in my life and in my company, you know, I have sayings that no mental masturbation is allowed. So, what is mental masturbation? So, you guys all know what masturbating is, right? Like, I'm a guy, so masturbating for me is fucking beaten off, right? Um, just playing with myself, right? So, this is mental masturbation is just playing with yourself mentally, right? So, and this is what most people do with their self development. Self development becomes mental masturbation, aka an element of entertainment inside their world um, and inside their life, not. Um, uh, 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 self-development. I mean, that's for most people, you know, like, oh, dude, I'm reading all these books and I'm working on myself and I'm self-developing. I'm like, bullshit, dude. Like, you're just reading the books to get through the books and read the books and they make you feel warm and fuzzy. They tickle your ears a little bit. Um, you're not doing anything to apply that knowledge, right? So when it comes to self-development, what should you be focusing on with self-development? Um, so self-development exists. So if we look at success, all success is, is you solving your own problems at the highest possible level, solve those problems, that allows you to take you to the next level. So when I'm, when I'm self-developing, I'm, I'm going laser focused um, in things that solve my problems at the highest possible level. So um, like right now, and while I'm in the studio, I'm recording this early Saturday morning, I'm getting ready to meet with a dude for six hours, right? Now this is a consultant, you know, I've, I, I stroked a pretty decently sized check 
um, to work with this guy and work with this company. Um, and the start of our working relationship is a six hour mastermind breaking down everything I'm doing inside my business um, to go out there and take it to the next level. You know, right? So how do I hire? I mean, this is self-development, right? In, in, in essence, coaches, mentors, um, programs that you're involved in, books that you're reading, all of that, you know, uh, uh, is self-development, right? So, um, when I'm doing this, I don't go out there just to read a book to read a book, right? I identify a problem that I am having. Like, what is the, the, the problems and obstacles that exist inside my world that are prohibiting me from taking it to the next level inside my business um, or in my life, any aspect of my life? I identify the problem, right? I get crystal clear on what that problem is. Um, then I self-development to overcome that problem, to solve my own problems, which will take me to the next level, right? But as I'm self-developing, then I got to take action. If I'm self-developing, even if I identify my problems, I'm self-developing, um, and I'm not going out there and taking action to solve my own problems, that becomes mental masturbation, right? So here's what commonly happens. Some people come to me and be like, oh, dude, Josh, you got to read this book. This book is epic. This book is amazing. Um, and I'll always ask them, okay, so, so what was it about the book that you loved the most? What was the one thing out of that book that you implemented? into your life that had the biggest impact on your life and what are the results that you're seeing from that? And it's like a fucking deer staring into headlights when I ask that question for like 99 out of 100 people. And it's because, again, they read the book. It may be a brilliant book, but they read it, made them feel good, made them feel warm and buzzy. Then they jump on the next book. They never go out there and take action. They're never applying it uh, um, to, to their life to go out there and get the results that they want to get. And they're not getting clear on their problems. You know, right? Like I had problems for a long time. You guys have heard me talk about this publicly of, of depression. Like I needed motivational shit, an abundance of motivational things, things that pumped me up, things that motivated me to get me out of bed each and every day to go out there and, and, and continue working hard and continue crushing. I needed that at one point in my life. So that was solving a problem. Today, I don't need motivation. You know, right? Um, I don't need somebody telling me to get out of bed to go work. Like, like I, I, like I can barely, I, like I can barely fucking sleep because I'm so motivated to go out there and take action, right? So, so different phases of your life, your problems will expand and, and grow into different problems. Yeah, right? Like right now, my self-development is um, um, conversion rates, increasing conversion rates, right? Uh, um, you know, one of the things that we're trying to uh, increase right now is we, we have a free book that we're offering out there. It's a free plus shipping and then offering a one-time offer. I'm trying to master that, increase that inside our funnels to go out there and grow. I'm trying to grow the podcast. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. So I'm going to go out there and study things and different tactics to go out there and do that. So I'm solving my own problems. So make sure that your own personal self-development doesn't become mental masturbation, doesn't become uh, 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 entertainment as it is to most human beings. So um, be very intentional about those, those two things that we talked about today. They are life and game changers. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Again, go check us out. If you're not watching this at GSD mode, maybe you're watching or listening to this on iTunes. Maybe you're watching this on YouTube. Go to gsdmode.com. Um, you'll be able to see uh, all, all I mean, that's where we have everything organized from you know, top eight, uh, real estate agent interviews to top entrepreneur interviews to health and fitness uh, 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 podcast that we do. Plus, like I said, we've got so many free resources on there. And that's one thing that I'm, I'm being very intentional about right now is um, um, offering more free stuff to help you guys go out there and grow your life and grow your business. So check us out there. Keep up the amazing work. Keep kicking ass. And I will talk to you soon. Peace out.